Wait, what was that? You don't know Buster Rhymes? Well, how would it go? Woo ha! Got you wall and shit. Just saying, hope you're recording that. Anyway. Yeah, we're rolling. So, today's were. topic is some people that have oh, we're something. Gonna, we're going to have to fix that frame. Well, I said scoot back. Well, for both of us, not just me. <laughs> Ow! Well, move! <laughs> Fuck you! Uh, Are you just gonna sit there? I thought we have to move back. Here, you stay. Don't you move. Here, I'll move for you. Okay. You want, you want, want a pillow for your butt? Do you want to fuck me in the ass? Wow. Okay. <laughs> um. Which do I get to say? Are they both yes and no questions? Um, okay. I can say, sure, sure, whatever you tell me, I don't know. Anyway. There's a guy who's really serious about trying to get into comedy. His name is Pooh, and I wanted oh, yeah, to yeah. have his uh, debut. He's also a personality type that I want to discuss. Yeah, you said you wanted to do it. I kind of forgot about it. Um, have you ever met a person that has something to say about everything? And or like interrupts a lot? Yes, that would be me. That's not I've never met them because I've had them. So wouldn't you know yourself better than anyone? I'm saying I am that person. You just asked me. If I've ever met a person like that, I just said, I am that person. So, so it's anyway, I've never really met that person, but I am that person, because I... Okay, so you want to go down this, like, logic sort of path. Okay, give me this. You're a bad person. I'm a bad person. I'm actually an amazing person, but... So this Mars moon is going to fuck us up. Why? Did you just look at me like I was a piece of fucking filet mignon? Made out of a person? No, but that's a good description. Ew, you're a cannibalist too? No. All the like balls I, just like, I just like filet mignon. So this week is felt energetically like intense, right? He beat up a woman at fucking Meals and Wheels, which is just senior citizens. Like, can't she you was only 86. I feel if she were over 90, I could explain myself. But the fact that you never should have gotten. This is where we have um, uh, MDAs, I think, or something. Or can I act like I have MDAs? I act like anything you want. Really? Well, no. To an extent. But, yeah, go ahead. Sure. NDA. In your head. That's a non-disclosure award. I was singing Charles the other day. Unsuccessfully. <laughs> Talk about that Florida guy. This Florida What's the difference? Florida between, man? No, let's talk about cargo pants. I'm, How, wearing, I'm technically wearing cargo pants right now. Didn't we just talk about that? Yes. But you're, you are in no way on the road to Disneyland in Orlando with Crocs. No, but I would be on the road to Disneyland in Anaheim if it was fucking open right now because my kid really wants to see the Star Wars ride. So, just saying, that is the biggest issue in my life right now, is that my 13-year-old is pissed off that he has not been on the Star Wars ride because of the fact that we have not been able to go, and his birthday was today. Hold on, this one was drama. Woohoo, uh-huh. You can take over, Coach. No, no, I don't want to watch. Huh. I don't know, but anytime someone is yelling these days, it's just not yeah, a So you thing. have a, I mean, I have a pretty good, I have a nice. I have long legs. 
Okay. You have a nice what? Rack? I agree. I have a nice rack? <laughs> I was thinking about my rack, but... Someone yeah. asked me if I got my boobs done today. I was like, they don't do boobs as small. Stop right. staring. I hope they were joking. <laughs> I mean... I, I, got, I don't call me when I see it. I, I got quarantine boobs for Just sure. Just so you know. Just so you know. So, um, supposedly, the end of the world is upon us. Palestine. Yeah, within nine what about years. Palestine not being on a map? Palestine? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I don't even know if that exists, technically. It's taken off Google Maps and Apple. You know why? Where is it? Look where it is. I know exactly where it is. It's in the Middle East. It's been yeah, a, it's right in the middle of a place where it's nobody recognizes it, and that's the problem. It's that's been there for a long time, and those people should be recognized. Yes, and many people say that they should, and I agree to some extent. I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I don't I think we're really getting anywhere with this video. What? Uh, me out. I said, I don't think we're really getting anywhere with this video. Well, at the moment, if you want to talk about Middle East fucking strategies, no. Oh my gosh. I mean, if you want to... If you want to talk to me about um, Jared Kushner, <laughs> then we'll talk a little bit more about Middle East Tell strategies. me about... Oh, well, isn't he in, like, in charge of it? That just means nothing. Uh, according to some people. Okay, I saw this guy last night that's like super anti-Trump, like I get these like Instagram polls trying to find news. He was such a pedophile. His two things were that he was a lazy pedophile and it felt like the only reason he didn't want Trump to be president is so he could stay a pedophile. I'm not sure what I should say about that. But. So, what's the best thing you've heard today? That. <laughs> that Trump is a pedophile. Trump's not. And hey, wait, who's a pedophile? You have selective hearing. No, who's a pedophile again? I forget. Yeah, see? That's my point. Jeff Epstein. Of course. You're... No, this guy on Instagram that I was looking at. Yeah, well, he's obviously a pedophile. Ah, wait, you're doing meals on wheels tomorrow? Tomorrow's Sunday. No. Did I go Monday, Wednesday? No, you don't. You're not going Monday. Yeah. Oh, you said you did have to go. Yeah, I don't. I said I'm 